All right, guys, welcome back to another video, and it's exactly a year ago to almost today. We were dealing with Hurricane Ian, and now we got Idalia, and yeah, she's on her way. This guy is looking a little angry. And the flooding already is a problem. We no longer have a dock. We no longer have a sidewalk. It's underwater. Uh, the neighbor's dock is completely underwater as well. Uh, everybody's docks are underwater. Yep, our sidewalk, hopefully our sidewalk doesn't lift up and leave. So we're running to Taco Bell so we don't eat our food. So Emma needs to leave. You need to get ready and leave. But yeah, our sidewalk's underwater. There's a little boy fishing over there. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat real quick. All right, guys. We are wrapping it up here. I think we got everything done and ready. As much as you can be ready. Um, we just went and ate one more meal out. Do whatever we gotta do. I mean, power goes out, you're at least guaranteed a couple days without power, which is the sucky part. Hopefully everybody's home, stay safe. You can only pray, hope. Um, I need to wrap up a few things. I mean, we got stuff just put everywhere. Everywhere. Where's the basketball going? I should have been smart and put it up on the wall. I could have played some. Um, I am going to pull the truck and the car up against the garage door here before long when it gets bad because they got a little bit of a tendency to suck people's garage doors out. The pressure gets that strong. Um, down in Florida, I don't know if you all know, see those big metal bars? So it's considered a hurricane garage door those people up north you guys wouldn't have nothing like that um, it just braces it a lot more and you're always thankful you got that because like I said when that winds humming it'll suck the garage right out you'll hear this house make noises you've never heard before it sort of wigs you out Heather starts to get a little paranoid then it starts to bug me a little bit more but I, I think most people in Florida I mean you worry about it but you don't worry about it because you're used to it. I mean, we've only been down here seven years. This will be the third hurricane in seven years. And people might ask, why? Why would you want to live there? Well, when this ain't going on, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. And when you guys are standing in the snow freezing and your fingers hurt and your toes are cold, I'll be on the beach. That's why people live here. Hey, we did get to yard mode this morning. So it's good for till next week. As long as you got one left um i got the trash cans yeah i got a lot of trash cans but there's only stuff in this one and that middle one there's the basketball goal that chair i'd wish it fly away but everything's pretty secured down patio and the patio just looks so much bigger without flipping furniture on it so much um, it did rain pretty hard earlier just a little bit ago and cleared up a little bit for now And that's the way it's going to be while the outer bands are coming through. It's actually it was pretty high And it's starting to go down now So I presume storm is starting to suck the water out Water was all the way up there now. It's starting to go down again At least we didn't got our new dock put in yet uh, Poor jet ski. He's gonna ride it out man. I did take the cover off of it. Um, that thing will float all the way to the top. So, I mean, if it goes there, that means it's going up there. But it'll float. It's like I told the neighbor. If it pops off the poles and floats away, I'll just come get him in the morning. We'll have to go look for it. Because it's not going to sink. But it can float away. Looks like everybody's about there. But I'll be, I want to see how far down this water goes when it sucks it out. I do need to go in the little shed over there and get like my uh, backpack blower, weed eater, all that kind of stuff up off the ground in case water gets in there. It didn't get in there on the last one, but you never know. But anyways, that's my update. Like I said, need to do that. Get them power tools up off the ground and put the good cars against the... Uh, garage door and I've got 15 gallons of gas regular gas for the generator and then I got another 14 gallon 
gas tank of uh, marine gas. Poor old Betty there. She ran good last time. Last year, actually. I need to put gas in it and fire it up, make sure it runs. Probably should have already done that, but I didn't. Because it's pretty much brand new. Ran it last year. <clears throat> I cleaned it out. The carburetor part got all the gas out of it. I put gas in it. Yeah. It's a good thing I really looked because I was getting ready to fire it up. And I forgot. I put the brackets back on. Because there's built-in bushings on this because they vibrate so much. But anyways. Good thing is I caught it. And I didn't fire it up. But hey, let's see if we can get it running. That's going to be the question. I got work to do. I'll be back. I had to kill switch on. So, let's see what happens now. Might be loud. Helps to turn the kill switch off. It really does. So I pulled for like three minutes. Yeah. Now look, I'm good. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> so I did not film on the way here because the drive was horrible. Horrible. Um, so it's about a three hour drive. It took me, a, I would say like three hours, 40 minutes because it was really bad weather. It was like constantly raining off and on. And then when it would rain like you you're like this like oh i can't see the lines and then everyone put their hazards on so everyone was driving like 40 miles per hour like the whole way for about a good hour so it took me longer than expected obviously because we being safe out here um i don't even know if we like explained why i'm here in miami um basically my passport didn't come in time i'm in the hilton um the passport agency is literally right below me so I can walk to it. That's why I booked this one and that's where I'm going. I'm going to the Miami passport agency because I got an appointment for tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning, early. So I'm going to have to get up at like 8, 8.30, sometime around there, and then go and then they print my passport the same day like a whole different passport so it's like me applying for a passport all over again i feel like that's what i read i don't know but we're gonna get it tomorrow and then we're going to switzerland yay if everything goes smoothly so that's basically why i'm here um the governor actually helped secure this appointment so shout out to mr greg the representative i think that's greg <laughs> um i love you I was also talking to his assistant, so thank you to his assistant too. I love you. Um, but anyways, so yeah, we literally just have the whole day to chill in this hotel room. I don't plan on leaving because I'm here alone. I'm not going to go explore Miami alone because the city's huge. I already got lost coming here. Like I went the wrong way like twice. <laughs> the buildings are crazy big and I love cities, but not cities like this. I feel very overwhelmed. Like, this is a city city. Like, I love... I can't really compare it to any other city. <laughs> I was going to, like, give a different example. Because Miami is huge. And I'm only in the downtown part, so I can already, like, imagine just, like, everything else. Like, no thank you. So I'm probably going to order room service for dinner. I brought a book. I have my computer. Has a TV. whatnot. So yeah let me give you guys a room tour the door has a deadbolt lock i'm gonna put a chair underneath and then a towel <laughs> for extra precaution and then a little mirror i didn't bring any cute outfits so i don't need to use this <laughs> closet this is the bathroom has a nice mirror also didn't bring any makeup to use this lighting but it's fine and then toilet shower <laughs> Then over here is the room. This is just like the overview. Queen bed, I'm pretty sure. Has a dresser, TV. I got a corner room, so I got two windows. The view is really pretty, I'll show you guys. Um, desk, this fun red chair, like beautiful, no? <laughs> and then look, this like side table, snake print. It made me instantly think of reputation. So this is a sign that reputation is coming out. <laughs> very soon 
Taylor planted that here for us exactly. And then this is the view. Look at the city, so pretty. Gorgeous. The buildings are huge, look at those. Crazy huge. Oh look, there's a plane too. Oh yeah. It's the room and I'm here just for the night and we're leaving tomorrow once I get my passport. So we just gotta keep myself busy. Probably just gonna go on my phone, maybe watch some TV, read my book. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna chill here in this bed. Maybe take a shower, I don't know. Oh, I can hear people flush their toilets, which is funny. <laughs> They keep going like every like five minutes. I'm like, does someone have to use the bathroom so much? <laughs> but anyways, so I think this whole thing will just, you know, all be worth it in the end because I will hopefully get my passport tomorrow, go home, and then I leave for Switzerland in like four days, I think. So we're here for a reason. And then hopefully when I leave tomorrow, the weather dies down. So like I'm not driving into the storm, but it says it's supposed to hit like Wednesday morning, I think. I don't really know. So let's just fingers crossed that the weather is okay and just fingers crossed that wherever it hits, everyone's okay. So yeah. But anyways, just wanted to say hi, pop in, say where I am and why I'm not home. What up guys? Well, we got bored. We decided we'd get out for a little while. Um, things have mellowed out here. But, we came down to the beach to see what's going on. Now, those of you that know us, when we first moved down here, we went to Jacksonville. Um, we went to the beach there. Big mistake. Here, it's a little different. Hopefully it's not too windy. Let me show you. Here we are. Those no, our water don't never us. Talking to mom on the phone. But if you surf, it'd be pretty cool. Alright guys, that is it for the vlog. I am exhausted. I did not sleep good the night before. My stomach was very upset the last night and I didn't fall asleep till like 4 in the morning. So I am extremely tired and I'm ready for bed. The storm is picking up. It is very windy. It is pouring. The dock is completely underwater as you've seen. I wanted to go out and film it, but it's pouring so bad that I'm not gonna be able to go out and film it. It's a blue super moon and high tide at 1.43 in the morning. A major problem, I don't know how much water we're going to have. I'm not concerned about it getting in our house because again, we're almost 15 feet above the water plane. So I'm not worried about that. I am worried about our new patio and pavers and shell. It is what it is. It's not like I can go out and hold it together. So, um, but that's it for our hurricane. I will show any damage or whatever when we get up in the morning and I'll add it to this video. Uh, so that'll be after this. But yeah, I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope anybody in Tallahassee 
is taking the proper steps to be safe and i hope florida uh, makes it through all of this and there's not a lot of damage and there's not a lot of flooding so anyways guys good night and we'll see you guys tomorrow okay you can't see anything i love when storms come in the dark but it's raining the wind isn't bad the rain is heavy and the water is high and it's not even high tide yet so in an hour i will come out and check it again he did we're outside and uh yeah it's uh not looking good for the home team the dock is completely underwater so is our sidewalk. Yeah, our sidewalk is, and our bushes. So, um, and it's not even high tide. So we got mm, about four, five feet, five feet you'd say? Five, five feet left. Before the jet ski floats off and. We'll find it tomorrow. Well, if it goes five feet, this wall. It's a good foot, would you say? On the sidewalk? Oh, there's a fish up here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> you guys see the fish? <laughs> okay, Mark's making me walk through the water and I feel like Jaws is gonna freaking come up and bite me. So we're gonna go up here. Uh, palm trees are in the water. How many more feet do we have till this is underwater? Uh, about two. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Take pictures? Pictures of what? The water. The what? Yeah. I just... Keeps fogging. Oh, the way there. Yep. So yeah, there's an idea. So everyone can understand. The water's down here. For us, it has to go all the way up here. And I will stand there. Fun times to go to bed. I'm still walking the wall. <laughs> and that's how far up it is on my legs. And we got, I don't know, foot and a half, foot and a half to go. Three fourths. Fishy, go fishy. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Thank God we don't have our new dock. I don't know guys, I think I'm going to set an alarm. I think so, no, but I think I should come out and check. freaking out. Uh, three in the morning and then five. I was going to come out and video this, but um, the flooding was way up here. You can see where it's pushed everything in our yard. Um, and then it was horrible on the other side.
but this was way up here last night. Go. No. It's still windy. Doc's been underwater for half a day now. Uh, this floating dock, if you see that brown mark, that's how high it was. Huh. Um, I was gonna wake Mark and I thought, oh my God, we don't have much to go, but it came down. The moon was huge last night. This side, all of our bushes are underwater. Hopefully they don't die from the salt water. And the whole side yard was flooded. Um, but I didn't have my camera. I didn't. None of that, so. There, you can see the water line. It went up to the shed. It's still up on our sidewalk all the way around, but it went up to the shed and came up here. It's a pretty wicked storm. Good morning, guys. It is currently eight o'clock. I just got up for my passport appointment at 9.30. I'm gonna walk over around nine, I think, maybe 8.45, I don't know. But uh, I told my mom to call me because I'm a heavy sleeper and sometimes I just sleep through my alarm. So I told her to call me if I didn't text her at eight. Uh, but she's sending me updates of the hurricane. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in Miami right now because it's beautiful. Pretty blue skies. The sun is out. It's gorgeous. Like, <laughs> it's perfect. No storm is over here. <laughs> What's up guys? I haven't spoke to you since 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's currently 8 o'clock right now. Um, I'm currently on my way home. I just pulled over to stop and get some food because I just ate for the first time today. I literally had the longest and most crappiest day ever. <sighs> so basically the reason why I'm just now updating you is because I was at the agency from 9 a.m till 4 p.m. and they have like a no phone rule like you can be on it. it has to be silent you can't make phone calls and then you also can't take photos or videos and some guy answered a phone call in line and was kicked out so they were taking it pretty seriously i don't really know maybe like what the meaning behind all of that is i don't know maybe because of all the information in the room i don't know um but i wasn't gonna risk it just because this was way too important so that's why i didn't really um talk to you and I was also so freaking stressed today and filming was the last thing on my mind so I thought I would sit down now I still have an hour drive home and just kind of talk to you about what went on and talk about the results of this whole trip and fiasco so basically um you guys know my appointment was at 9 30 and then I left the hotel at 8 45 because I put my bag in the car because I didn't know if my appointment was going to take a long time so I put my bag in the car I walked over to the agency and I went through security got in line for the number they used to call you up for your appointment and that took like 45 minutes to get a number I was like r one one twelve one. 112 not 112 112 anyways um so after that you go and sit down in these chairs everyone's just kind of waiting in the lobby and so after that i finally get called at 11 o'clock and it took forever i was just in there like 
up. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I go up to the window. I give him all of my information. Tell him that like I already have an application in. So he actually goes and grabs my application that I sent in in July, which was so funny to me. I texted my mom and she didn't she didn't get it. I thought it was so funny that he just grabbed my application that I've been waiting on, like super stressed about. And there it is, just sitting right there with all of my information. <laughs> and I'm just like, I couldn't have just gotten that in the mail when it's literally right there. Whatever. So he was like, "Do you have your photo?" I handed my photo, and he looks at me and goes. This isn't gonna get approved. I was like, oh my gosh. This is the second time that someone has told me, well, obviously the first time the government, you know, told me that it wasn't gonna get approved. Well, the passport government, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, so, you know, I had to send in another one and it was the same photo that I gave to the agency worker. And he was like, the background's too blue. And I was like, oh my God, it's always something. Like my face wasn't too big. Now it's the background. Like how specific can you get? Like, I understand that my face wasn't too big. Like that made sense to me. But the background being like a slight blue, he was like, no, it needs to be completely white, like off white. And I'm like, dude, like I understand that it looks blue, but it's still white and I don't have another photo. And so he was like, two options. You reschedule your appointment. And I was like, I live three hours away. I'm like what do you want me to do he was like or we can send it in and it gets denied or it gets approved i was like just send it is it send it in it is what it is um so he was like okay come back at 1 p.m to pick up your passport and i asked him before i left i was like what if i come back at one my photo is denied and i have i have like extra photos so I, I would like leave and go take photos which is what i did and he was like yeah that will work so i left i went to find a cvs i could not find parking for 45 minutes i was so so stressed like there's no parking anywhere in miami i was downtown miami oh my god it was literally the worst thing ever so i found a parking garage but it was expensive how are you gonna have no parking and then charge the amount of money that i paid for to park for 30 minutes i don't know it's ridiculous i absolutely hate miami i mean just the part that i went to i i will never go back no thank you i love cities but that is too much for me and i was just so flustered the whole entire time i was driving and i would not want to live in a city where it's like that like Oh my god, no one list like no one obeys the laws and anything. <laughs> like, it's so bad. I don't know how anyone lives there. Like I understand like the city life. Like I live in Miami, but in no way could I live there. Like I I would stay in my apartment 24-7. Like I would never leave. Oh my god, it was horrible. So I finally found parking. I go to CVS. They say, oh, we don't do passport photos. So now I have to walk two blocks that way, 10 minutes, to go to Walgreens. I finally take the photo. I get them printed. And then it's like 12 30 at that point i couldn't get lunch i was literally walking trying to get a photo just in case mine got denied that was most important to me <laughs> so i didn't get to eat breakfast didn't get to eat lunch I haven't even drank water at this point i'm literally dying so finally um i head back to the agency i go in go through security and then you just sit because everyone comes at the same time to pick up the passport, which is why it takes forever because you have 100 plus people waiting to get their passport. So an hour passes, they hand out maybe like 20 passports and they get on the intercom and go, our system's down. They can't print passports anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna get my passport today. Like I'm literally gonna have to stay another night. Like it was something after something after something. And so in the meantime, I was thinking to myself, like, I'm going to wait here just to find out that my photo was denied. So I go up to the guy that actually did my uh, appointment and I was like, I know you said my passport photo is going to get denied. Like, can you check if it's approved or denied? Because here are the ones that I just took. So he looks it up. It was approved. <laughs> like, I just wasted <laughs> so much time trying to find parking, trying to get these photos and also wasted my money. But, you know, again, safe. I was being safe better safe than sorry so i had the photos just in case uh but best case scenario was approved and yeah so now i just have two extra passport photos that i took which thank gosh it was approved because these photos i didn't have any makeup i didn't bring makeup i was dead um i mean i looked sick in my photo it was really bad and i was like i cannot have this photo for 10 years because people are gonna be like is that you <laughs> they're not gonna let me on the flight <laughs> um so anyways um after that i go sit back down finally two hours later four o'clock they call and say uh yeah our system's back up and then within the next 15 minutes i was actually called within like 
the first 20 people I was, that was like a really good blessing because if i wasn't called from the get-go i would have probably been there till 5 30 6 o'clock because they said it takes four to five hours sometimes but on top of that the system was down so that added an extra what four hours so i probably would have been there to eight <laughs> no thank you so i got my passport and she's here <laughs> i got her y'all doubted me y'all doubted me some of you were like emma you're not going to switzerland baby like you need to cancel rebook nope i was determined look at it a physical copy of my passport that i'm using next tuesday i'm going to freaking switzerland Woo! It was like, oh my gosh, thank freaking gosh, because we don't know what we would have done because we would have been out of flights. We would have been out our hotels and just, oh my God, so many things kind of went wrong, which it did today, but here we are. Here we are. Oh my God. It's such a blessing, uh, but I'm very happy that the second passport photo got approved because I actually look decent in this photo, um, but yeah, so that was literally my whole day today. And so I don't know if I said why I didn't talk to you guys just because there's like a no phone policy. Just wanted to reiterate that because I know I didn't film at all today, but it's literally because I couldn't and I literally just was not in the mood to film because I was so stressed on thinking that I wasn't gonna get my password, but I did, I did. So now I have an hour drive home. I know that I left right before which thankfully i didn't you know drive through really bad weather that bad um but for the people that did get hit i hope you guys are okay i've been praying for you i think everyone has um i haven't really seen many updates i know a lot of the places have been flooded like i know tampa and st pete have flooded like the lower part like zone a so i hope you guys are all safe if you were affected you are my prayers i love you guys um but yeah just it's just so crazy like how hurricanes form because just like last week it was like monday like it really wasn't anything it was like a tropical storm and sometimes those don't form into hurricanes and they don't hit it's mostly just like thunder and rain but no it was uh was it wasn't in a cat four i think i don't know but i hope you all are okay if you were in you know the eye of the hurricane and stuff like that so I love you guys hope you guys are safe and anyways we're gonna go home and probably shower because i'm gross and go to bed because i'm tired i had a really long day today but we were successful <laughs>